I'm Marshall Shade. And we're here with Ebony Webster. Hi. Hi, Ebony. Hi. <laughs> so tell us, um, are you in a relationship? Oh, no, always. Um, I'm currently single right now. You're single? Yes. How mm -hmm. long have you been single? For about a month and a half. Mm -hmm. But it feels like it was like a couple weeks ago. From maybe the last week of January to the beginning of February. So you're freshly single. Like, yes. You just broke up. <laughs> were you together on Valentine's? Um, no, we weren't. Oh. So he broke up just before Valentine's? Yes, basically. Wow. Like. Oh, well, that's a sign. <laughs> yeah. If your man is not with you on any holiday, then we all know he either with another But was you with, with, were you together on Christmas? We were together on Christmas. Okay. Thanksgiving. We were together on New Year's. Well, it just was Valentine's. She's not the side chick. <laughs> oh, if I find out, I swear on my life. <laughs> no, she's not a side chick here. Yeah. yeah no. So how did you break up? Um, he ghosted me. Like he stopped calling, stopped texting, and when I called, he sent me the voicemail. But did he block you though? No. Oh, see, he didn't block you. See, he is still there. It's still hope. That's what he says. <laughs> like he, he tells me that, but I'm just like, no, I, I can't. I don't know. So what happened for the breakup? Like you're just saying we broke up. What what happened? In my eyes, nothing, nothing, we didn't have, I mean, we had an argument previous, like maybe two weeks before, but as far as I'm concerned, we were fine, but he just up and did that literally two days after he came and picked me up and we went out to eat, and I'm just So like, just nothing? Yeah, I'm just like, I don't understand what happened, like. So were you in an exclusive relationship? Oh yeah, everyone knew, his family, his friends. Um, people Did you meet them with. in person? Yes, I met them oh, in okay. person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so you were in an exclusive relationship. Mm -hmm. You had the discussion. Yes. And you didn't see each other every day? Yeah, we saw each other every day. Um, and, you know, the last five months, we were just, you know, together every day. Like, Oh, good. So everything was perfect, and he just like, man, I don't want to be with you. Yes, basically, I'm thinking like, oh, when I move back, everything we gonna be good, and that happened. So tell us, what advice do you need from us today? Um, the advice I need is because I, I've been you know kind of fighting with myself about getting back together with him, trying you know because every day I'm fighting with not sending him a message or calling him, and um. I don't want him back because of how like how he did it. That was not really like a man move. But how he did on a text message? He didn't like respond to me basically. He and just then completely with those. Yes, and then when I like texted Stop him answering. snapping, I was like, If you need to be a man, let me know what the deal is Then that's when he was like So he never really Is he alive? Yeah, he was <laughs> right. Did you check the hospital? Did you check the jail? Like Instagram. Check I check his family. Everywhere. I even asked his mom, I'm like, is, your, is, he, is he okay? Yeah. Oh, mama gonna lie. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Wait, Cousin, brother, sister, they okay. all gonna lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't say he's okay, though. He's gonna say, you know, he, he's yeah, in the hospital. They might just be along with the story, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't, when it comes to the family, I, at the same time, I don't really like So they said that he was okay. His mom was just like, he hasn't even told his mom, like, because she asks us, like, frequently about us. She like, oh, how are y'all? So I asked him, I'm like, because we were communicating like a couple days ago, you know, I still talk to him whenever I'm in the mood. And then when I'm in my feelings and I'll cut them out or I'll be like, I hate you for what you did. But he's like, no, I haven't told my mom yet. And I know she's going to ask. How old is he? He's 23. 23? Yeah. Oh, right. I'm thinking we talking about somebody older. How old are you? 20. She's 20. Oh, so okay. 23, you look 20. Older than that. <laughs> I do? Yes, I thought you were about 24. Um, she's in her age. age range. She's mm. good. Yeah, no, yeah, she's in her. I always say stay in your age range because you have more control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When listen. you go out of your age range, <laughs> then the Get dominant the person is older <laughs> and they have more control. You know? No, no, that's not no. You know that's true. <laughs> age does not matter. It age doesn't matter. I didn't say it doesn't matter, but it's <laughs> safe. To stay in your age range. What about when the guy is 32 and he wants to date a 16 year old? No. When the guy is 32 and he's acting like he's 16. Now that's how you know it's age doesn't matter. Like, no, no, no. But 
I, you know, when you stay in your age range, it's mm-hmm. safer. You're right. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, it's safer. But, no. And I've been trying <laughs> to be, like, older, you know. Because older so, people seem to have it together. I, I mean, what's your suggestion to her? Um, he either just does not want to be real with you. I just feel like he should have really, him dude being 24 years old, but I can't say that because he's just a man. Yeah. Right. But him being 24 years old, he should at least explain to you, like, this is why your head was not on point. Your, I mean, I just don't know. Your, how, oh my long gosh. Did, how was the sex? Like, was it good? Oh, my gosh. It was or, great. Like, let me tell you, he, throughout our relationship at first, he used to suck giving me head. I used to just be like, please get off me. Get, get off. But now, like, throughout, I guess he started to know my body, and so he got better and better. And, like, even when, like, I was giving him head, like, he would be... He would like cuss under his breath, or he would like grip the sheets and like. Okay, so everything was good, right? Yeah, it was that like, part everything was good on your end. end. And our communication <laughs> is great too, like everything. You know, no problems. He would frequently call me all the time. If I, if he called me on break and I didn't answer, he would like start snapping. He would be like, "What changed? Are you 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 lost feeling for me or something?" And it's like now. You just disappeared. Yeah. Well, I honestly feel like in a relationship, you guys have to build a strong bond. Like, a bond that's unbreakable for any female to even come in and, you know, interrupt you guys' relationship. I feel like the bond is key. Yeah, and that's what I thought we had. Like, yeah. But she thought she had a bond. Well, they were seeing each other every day. The well, like, a good. friendship bond to where, like, <laughs> like he, he comes to you about anything. Like, he can tell you his deep, darkest secrets that he doesn't tell anyone. Like, did he open up? Yeah, that's, the, that's when I finally, like, at first, the two weeks we weren't speaking when I realized that, what was happening in our relationship. When I finally got, you know, some clarity out of him, he was just like, right now is not the time for a relationship. I can't be the guy for you. I'm still living with my mom then. And, you know, I understood that, but I'm just like, I was with you seven months ago when you had no job, no car. You bought your first car two months ago. And that's Oh, when, that's the problem. That's when, yeah, that's, that's when the problem gave me. Never say that. <laughs> you got a car and then you got a job. Yes. Like, okay. Man, I lost his mind. Mm-hmm. It came up. I and really lost like, his mind. <laughs> I've been contemplating, like, up now. knocking you off cloud I'm nine. Now. Like, Forget you. I'm yeah. up now. Yeah, I've been, right. con- I've been contemplating knocking him off cloud He's nine. Dope. I know where you stay, and I will come flatten all three of your tires. Not four, but three, because if I do four, then your insurance oh, is going to pay for it. So oh, I've been, she did her research. Yeah, I'm trying to take the high road, but I'm just so I No, I wouldn't do that. I didn't even know I that. I wouldn't advise you to do that. Um, yeah, no. Sometimes, I hate to say this, that when men are down, they get with a certain woman, and when they feel like they're up, mm-hmm. they switch and feel like they get a better woman. It sucks. It happens to a lot of people. It happens all the time. It's like, yeah. It um, does. So it's hard. It's hard. Um, and I mean, it's his loss. You have to tell yourself that, mm-hmm. first of all. If you don't tell yourself that, you might lose your mind. It's <laughs> 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 it lost. You know. And God is actually opening up doors for you for a better person. Mm-hmm. You know, you mm-hmm. have to tell yourself that because it will drive you crazy because that was cold. Mm-hmm. It was. That was really cold. Even before I seen, you know, this, you know, casting call, I was just like, now that we're done, I can finally, like, because I, I, was kidding myself. I'm like, oh, I'm focused. I got this. I can do a relationship and I can do, you know, my acting and my um, music career. And it's like, it's not. Because one requires 100% attention, not half. And my attention was deficit because I was always like, oh, what is he doing? And calling him. We were spending time together. But then I noticed the times I was spending with him, I wasn't really going to a recording studio like I was supposed to. I wasn't really looking up more gigs. So it's like, that's what I tell myself every day. I'm like, maybe this happened for a reason. God wanted you to get on top of your stuff first. And I don't know if we're going to get back together. Like, half of me wants to. And the other half is just so upset with him. Like, I'm just like, I don't really want you back because of how you did that. But I would be terrified if he came back. <clears throat> I'd be terrified that when he leaves, he might not ever call me again. Yeah. I would be scared to take him back. Well, I would be terrified. What I would do is lather up in my coconut oil every night. And hit the gym, mm. get fun. Yeah, the gym always gets me. So, what do you feel like you can do better in your next relationship from this lesson? Because I feel like every relationship is a lesson in your life. 
Oh yeah, I agree. Um, for sure. Like I, I don't know because I don't, I can't see myself with nobody but him. Like it, it was just more than just even though seven months, not too long, but it was just more than that. Like his, he's very articulate and he's very goal oriented. He's mm -hmm. close to his family, and I, I love a family oriented person. Like you can't be not have a relationship with your family because I'm close with my family. But um, seven months is a long time. Right? Yeah. To okay. establish so, connection. A long time to be given this to one person and to, okay, I'm sorry. You're no, you're fine. Okay, <laughs> I'm a joke only thing. So you know think that, wait, wait, what can you do better? I'm just going to like, like he said, of course, supposedly how he wanted. Um, you're going to level up, no? <laughs> but that too, yes. No, I'm like, I'm going to get you. this shit out of my head and I'm it's sorry. It's not you. <laughs> it's not you. But I mean, I kind of, even though I've, I've always been like this and I'm still like this, I've seen other beautiful women, but I still be like, she ain't me. And like, I'm, my personality is confident. banging. Yeah, I'm very confident. I see a beautiful woman, even if my boyfriend ain't looking, I'd be like, oh, she doesn't she look cute? She's girl, so that's cute. me. Yeah. I'm like, damn, she fine. That's yeah, me. Yeah, and it's like, I've never, and even <laughs> if I thought not he me. would. Okay, <laughs> don't try that shit with me. <laughs> that is not me. Yeah. Okay. I'm look. like, what you looking at you disrespecting? I'm like, dang, girl. No. <laughs> I just feel like now I'm gonna actually focus on a friendship and a bond first because, I mean, if that's what he says was our downfall, then I guess I'm gonna work on that. And he told you that he was like, we, him and I didn't have a, a friendship at first, but I'm like, yes, we did. Like, you always confided in me about your work. Uh, oh, and wait, I have to so ask. Wait, you just how long me. did you wait before you had? Sex? Yes. Exactly. There goes the smile. Well, well honestly, you can be honest. Let her. Let her talk. Go ahead. It's the first day. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's no See, friendship. It won't be the first day. No, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I just feel like. But we was over the around. dinner table. Like he was giving them looks. He was. I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, I've never had sex on the first day, but I'm just like, I, in my head, I was like, I already know he about to get it. Don't be like, one of those you never, when you did. <laughs> no, I promise. I was like, you about to get it. Because I'm like, Ooh, I'm looking up, up and down. I'm you like, you put your him. phone down. Yeah. You was like this. You you wanted to know everything. He was like, where'd you come from? He was all into you. So I was like, oh, like, I was just. <laughs> So yeah, because I hate those dates you're like on there and they're in the phone and you're like, okay, why am I here? Uh, well, I already know I'm going to go home with you. Yeah, yes. I definitely have a phone rule. But I have <laughs> to <laughs> say, yes, do not be on your phone while we're on a date. No, I did have yeah, one yeah. guy did this to me, like okay? I came, right, on the date. And the person that hooked us up on the blind date was texting me like, did you get there yet? Is, do you, you know, just trying to figure out something. Mm -hmm. So I was texting back and he was like, you know what? I had enough and left. Uh, <laughs> he left. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so who was in a pan, You know? I mean, we didn't even order yet. <laughs> I just sat down for like two minutes. I was like, okay, I'm glad he's gone because he's the control freak. Yeah. All right? <laughs> no, but that was so funny. It was only it was two hilarious. minutes. You could have like waited to see I if know. I was going to be longer. Or no, you know what? Here's the My, thing. Okay, I don't think you did anything you. wrong. You did nothing wrong. I, really I think did. I did. Okay, you know, what's the question you had to ask her? I was going to ask her. I already asked her. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's wrap no, it up. No, no. I was going to ask you another question while you were venting and going on and on about <laughs> your man. Is your father in your life? No. Okay. Yeah, that says a lot. That I says a lot of why you're like. Yeah, I yeah. said no. I have to say this: when my father was not in my life, I felt a little bit more needy. But then when he came back, I felt the void gone. Oh, okay. I no longer felt needy anymore. I did. So I I know that bond, that yeah. that bond for so many years. I was like, oh my God, if I could just be close to my father. And when I got the bond back, it was like I wasn't feeling needy anymore. So yeah, I do understand. With the bonds, with the dad, and how long ago your dad haven't been in your life? It literally, um, we spoke two weeks ago for the first time in fifteen years. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. I know these people. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you know, he was just like, "I love you." He just kept saying it. Like, I guess he kept saying it, like because he knew he missed out on years. And 
I'm I'm content. Like I I'm fine with the fact that I know he's not gonna be there. Not because I don't want him to be there, but because he doesn't want to. He is always on the road. He he doesn't have a stable place. He's just always on the road. He's trying his music and um, keep telling him he can't sing. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, he just like even when my mom was raising us, he wanted to do what he wanted to do. He wanted to live his life, but. Don't you think my mom wanted to do that instead of raising your eight kids? And it's like, I just was like, I know he's not going to be there. And I've accepted it. I've accepted that you won't be at my wedding because stuff like that, you don't really care about. What, were you got, was your parents married? No, but they got married when I was like 11. So they, mm -hmm. my they mom kept trying with him. She kept trying and he just kept screwing up. So, Okay. So do you want the ratchet advice? Are you want like the homie, the homie girl advice? I want the real advice. So <laughs> well, both of them real. Okay. Right. Um, it just depends on who you get it from. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I have both or okay, can you can have, have both? both or? I was saying, okay. I was saying that you should not worry about him. He left you, and usually when someone leaves me, I'm. I actually feel better for that person to leave me than me leaving them. Yeah, yeah. I it works. It's opposite for me. Mm -hmm. Most people don't want to get left, but I know what if they leave me, it's totally over, and I'm never going back to you because mm -hmm. you left me. I'm never gonna call you. I'm never gonna text you, and I'm never gonna answer your. Hold your ears. <laughs> right, <laughs> secrets to let out. <laughs> I'm never gonna answer your call, and you should never text him or call him or anything. Did you? Um, the other day he was like, have a, I hope you have a blessed week. And so even though I didn't delete his number, I wanted him to thank it. So I was like, who is this? And he didn't respond back after that. To me, when someone needs me, that's my closure. Mm -hmm. You don't want me, I don't want you. And that's what that is. If someone doesn't want you, you should not force yourself on them. Yeah. Because they're going to treat you bad. Then you're not going to get the treatment that you deserve. Go to someone who does want you. That's who you need to be with. And there's somebody out here who does want you. You need to keep dating. Don't stop your dating because he decides he wants to disappear and be Casper. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's like the good motherly advice. Like you're beautiful, you have your things together, you got your shit going on. You know what I'm saying? You know that stuff I be telling you, girl. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So basically, um, the ratchet advice. <laughs> oh, you doing the ratchet advice or is it her? Oh, no. I know oh, ratchet. Yeah. She can give you her own advice now. But. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the ratchet advice is. Keeping your body count down, mm -hmm. being exclusive, so, 
you yeah, probably really not even is go, important. Yeah. You probably really not even go see me. Yeah. So but it's ratchet advice is not what you would do, but it's just ratchet advice. Mm. Yeah. So oh, I don't know. <laughs> so basically mom got that. That's, that's <laughs> our advice for today, you know. It does help though to go out and get some numbers. Because mm -hmm. you feel like, oh I got it going on still. And fuck him. He's missing out. Mm -hmm. But it does help to get number, even if you don't go on a date. You know what I'm saying? It does help your self esteem. And it's like guys have been throwing themselves at me, but like I said earlier, like I've still been committed to him, even though we're not together. Like in this, it's, I, I don't think it's really necessarily for him, but it's like I'm not ready yet. I'm trying. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that invisible commitment okay. that we have in our mind. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of okay, <laughs> so, Marsha, do you have a celebrity game for us? Okay, yeah. lady man crush. Who would you um, uh, pass or smash? <laughs> That's right. Who would you pass or right. smash? Okay, let's see. Soulja Boy or No way. Low way, Soulja Boy discussing. Come on now, that was the easy. No, one. we don't know if it's pass or smash. Which right. one is it? Uh, Let's do smash. Pass for Soldier Boy and smash for Lil Wayne. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. see. Let's do a juicy one. What? Let's do a juicy one. Let's do that's irresistible, irresistible. Uh, Drake or <laughs> um, give me one, Marsha. Drake or we gonna do Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's kind of hard. <laughs> that's a hard one. <laughs> well, I feel like Drake would be like being a bit I'm talking about some feelings, and I'm like, <laughs> I probably would be. That's what you need. But Chris Brown been a. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. But uh, I think his days are over. Wait, no, because he did cheat on Karuchi, and even though he did not hit her, that was still a hit cheating on her. Um, <laughs> I've seen a picture of Chris Brown's thing. To me, it didn't look that big. Maybe it was probably the oh. angle. I don't know. Yeah, it was a hit. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Oh no! I'm gonna go with Drake. Okay, Drake. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in with us, the single in the city. And you can catch me on IG Michelle underscore Shade number seven and Ebony. Uh, on my Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram at I am underscore Treasury. That's T R E A S U. R Y. <laughs> I almost can she spell it? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and my Instagram is Marshall Sade on everything Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. How lucky is that? <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>